Hey guys, Josh Mall with Swimming Pool Science, and today I want to talk to you about my favorite way to dissolve chlorine tablets into a swimming pool, the floater. The classic blue and white floater right here. And I'm not talking about the rubber ducky floater or the Santa Claus floater or any of those fancy wancy decorative floaters. I don't like those because the kids always want to play with them. They're messing around with it, and it's not that great for kids to be that close to chlorine. So I prefer the classic blue and white floater here. Now, why do I prefer that? Let me tell you. Here in Arizona, we have a specific set of atmospheric conditions. Extremely hot, dry summers. It's been 90 days since we've had any rain. Um, we have extremely hard water. Our pools are open year round, and they get a lot of heavy use during the summer. So chlorine tablets are the way to go because they are a slow dissolving, consistent way to deliver chlorine throughout the week between visits. Now, in some places you'll find chlorine towers mounted by the equipment which are great for commercial applications where the pools are running and the pumps are running and the water circulating 24 hours. It's a consistent run. There's no time for the chlorine and the, to build up and the pH to drop because with chlorine tablets we have to be careful of the, the, the trichlor specific tablets that we use that are the workhorse here in Arizona. They are very acidic and it can do some significant damage, especially when the pool equipment is turned off. That's why it's a huge no-no to put chlorine tablets in the skimmer in about 90% of cases. Now, you wanna find out the times when you can put chlorine tablets in a skimmer? Well, you can talk to your local pool professional about that or dig a little deeper down the rabbit hole yourself, but it's something that I just don't do. Now, um, this particular pool has an in-deck chlorinator here and that's cool it's made out of plastic just like this is guess what this over time with chlorine it it eventually wears out this guy right here is about 10 bucks this guy to repair right here hundreds of dollars so at some point sadly this thing's gonna wear out and give out they'll have to plug that off or spend the hundreds of dollars to bust up the deck and repair it now it is away from the pool equipment which I like whereas a chlorine tower that's at the pool equipment Something's gonna break down, the check valve's gonna quit at some point, and with that equipment being off 12 to 14 hours a day on a residential pool, that highly acidic, highly chlorinated water is gonna start damaging plumbing and pump components and filter components, and so that's why, in my book, the chlorine tower on a residential application is a strict no-no. Now, I sing the praises of the chlorine floater, but one drawback on this shorty right here, it can get caught up on the top step, and those chlorine tablets, as they dissolve, will just eat away at that surface, whether it's plaster or pebble tech or even tile and grout joints or fiberglass or paint, that highly acidic, low pH water that builds up around this chlorine floater when it's stuck up on the top step is gonna do damage. Now, this, the, the solution to that is to get a bigger, deeper chlorine floater that won't get caught up on the step. Now, the great thing about this is it's fully adjustable. I have these veins I can open and close. I can put as many or as few tablets as I need to in here. And I can also break the tablets up to get them to dissolve quicker. So I've got a lot of options with this. The other great thing, um, with the chlorine tower at the equipment or the in-deck chlorinator like we have here, it's only chlorinating while the pump's running and water's circulating. This guy right here is floating around the pool, getting blown around by the wind. It's constantly chlorinating the water. So it's always gonna be chlorinated whether the equipment's on or off. And so I just find this is the best way to do tablets. It may be different from your area. You might use a different chlorine. Consult with your local pool professional to find out more. But here in Arizona, when it comes to residential pools, this is the way to go right here. And in fact, and you know who would agree with me? This long-legged pissed off son of a bitch right here. That's right, the Arizona Palo Verde Beetle. He would also agree that a chlorine floater is the way to go. So here in Arizona, this is my preferred method to dissolve chlorine. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any concerns or you have any differences of opinion, let's discuss it in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.